Welcome everyone. So I'm going to be covering Minky and Primeape. Uh, Primeape and Minky are absolute beasts now, thanks to the new ability Hustle and the changes I made to Hustle. Um, they have other great options as well. They have another new ability on Headstrong as Primeape, and they have tons of great new coverage and great move pool changes. But um, at the end of the day, and of course, you know, giant stat boosts and stuff, but um, their biggest and most significant buff is Hustle. So a lot of people don't like the ability Hustle. Um, I personally love it. And so what I did is I gave it some giant buffs. So Hustle still gives you a massive 50% boost to your physical attack stat, um, as it always has. So that means that your base 125 attack, which is already ex excellent, I mean, I think that fits very nicely given their design and stuff um you already have that but if you throw in the giant boost from hustle you become extremely extremely powerful um, and you are very fast as well now they have base one base 105 speed the both of them which is really awesome um if you look at the speed tier guide on the sheet yourself you can see all of these changes for yourself in the sheet by the way if you go and the description you can always look at this yourself um you can look at all the changes <clears throat> from to all the moves and whatnot i have an entire move sheet with all the moves listed out um and here you can see where primate currently stacks up it's it's a very uh good speed tier to be in <clears throat> So that's great, but the most impressive thing again is hustle. So you have base 105 speed, base 125 attack. You also have better physical defense and slightly better HP, just because I think it fits their design to be relatively physically bulky. I mean, they have those like metal cups and you know, like big old fists, and then you know, I just think it makes sense. Um, and with access to the ability hustle. So what hustle does now, obviously, it still boosts your attack. However, I've made a bunch of new moves that do one of three things: the moves will either not miss meaning they won't miss, but they'll still get the attack boost from Hustle, which is insane. It's like a free choice ban, a bunch of moves um, with no drawback. So that's number one, right? and that's by far the most important buff. Um, secondly, um, a bunch of moves will actually give you an accuracy boost when you click it. Um, so they might be able to miss, but they will give you accuracy boost. Um, there are also new setup moves that give you accuracy. So Rock Polish gives you plus one accuracy as well as a speed boost. And then Home Claws, instead of giving plus one, it gives you plus two accuracy. Um, Um, and there's a bunch of uh, new moves that boost accuracy as well. And then lastly, I also made wide lens and zoom lens boost more. So if Primate runs wide lens close combat, it now is a 92% chance to hit, to hit instead of an 88% chance with Hustle. Um, and of course you get that giant choice band boost. So that's really, really incredible on Primate if you want to just slap a wide lens on it and go to town. Um, however, you do have a bunch of awesome new moves that you don't even need to run wide lens for. You can just run any item and they won't miss. So Primate has access to U-turn, obviously. Um, U-turn cannot miss. Stomping Tantrum is a good is a good ground type coverage move that cannot miss. Um, I believe you also have, uh, so Flail and Reversal are very good as well. Um, reversal, especially Reversal, Hustle, and Door sets are like, it's insanely powerful because you have access to Endure as a TM. You can teach Endure to your Primate. Uh, once it learns Reversal, you can then just completely sp sweep with ease. And you also have access to really strong uh, fighting uh, dark moves. So, um, sucker so basically all priority moves can't miss. So Mock Punch and Bullet Punch and Fake Out all cannot miss with Hustle. So you have priority Mock Punch, which is Hustle boosted, that can't miss. You have Bullet Punch, you have uh, Sucker Punch by a TM, and then fake out all of those can't miss you also have first impression via tm that can't miss and that's uh, that's awesome um what am i saying uh it's just so there's so many awesome moves with hustle um you also have access to a bunch of other moves but before i get to those i want to talk about the reversal stuff because it really is amazing i mean you can run endure reversal so blackberry and completely just sweep everything with reversal and whatever doesn't die to reversal you just click sucker punch on them or or beat up or punishment or whatever it may be um because all of those moves also can't miss with hustle obviously hustle when you have one hp left is very risky because if you miss you literally just die if they attack you um so that's definitely not worth it which is why i made those moves 100 accurate with hustle sorry meaning like they, they bypass the accuracy checker right um same way same moves like shockwave you know now those moves are more um like for example hustle aerial aces but now there's tons more new, tons more new moves that do that same effect um purely as a buff to hustle um and i think that play alone reversal doing that is super awesome um because it's just like those moves are very rarely used and they are really great now with the indoor tm and just with the fact that it's very easy to sweep trainers um with those moves but um you know it might be there's always gonna be a little bit harder than i might make it sound but it, it's still an amazing tool nonetheless um this is kind of loud this music it's probably fine um hopefully it's not too loud um 
So yeah, that's amazing with reversal and Playl. You also have access to Circle Throw at level 32. Circle Throw is negative priority, but it's 90 base power, 100% accuracy, uh, and it can't mess with Hustle. So um, you get that boost. Obviously, you are going to be moving last, so you are relatively frail. Not really. I mean, especially you are kind of frail, but physically you have some pretty good physical defense. You can also probably take advantage of some Assault Vest sets if you want. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, so that's awesome. Um, and then you also have access to um, Beat Up and Punishment, both of which can't miss. Beat Up is actually a very underrated move, um, especially with the Hustle buff, the Hustle buff now. Um, it's a great option for coverage. Um, and on average, Beat Up will probably be Beat Up will be like ranging from 85 to like 100 base power on average. But obviously, if you have a very physically oriented team, then you can get like plus 100 base power Beat Ups for sure, um, which is really good coverage for Hustle sets. Um, and of course, Sucker Punch is there that also can't miss, and that's priority, but it is weaker than Beat Up, so. Yeah. Um, what else is there? Um, oh, I know. There is also um, Power Trip and Raging Fury, which cannot miss with Hustle. Um, so Power Trip and Raging Fury. Uh, Raging Fury is 50 base power. Fire type move gives you plus one attack. Um, and that will double in power if you move last. Um, so that's awesome and very powerful. And then you have access to Power Trip. Um, which is giving you plus one attack as well. Um, and that, of course, gets stronger the more stat boosts you have. Um, you also have Belly Drum, which is incredible with, like, dude, Belly Drum, Hustle, Mock Punch kills, like, everything. And everything that doesn't die to that, you can just click Sucker Punch on them. Um, it's really, really amazing. Um, the only downside is you have to get off the Belly Drum safely, which, you know, might be a little bit difficult. But, of course, if you run the proper team support or you run the proper strategy or the run the right EVs or items, you can definitely take advantage of that Belly Drum set. Um, you also have a funny move in Fling. Uh, Fling is massively buffed. Um, if you go to, well, you actually can find Fling both in the move to, in the move guide and in the held item buffs guide. Um, so you can find it there. Uh, but here I have a section where I talk about Fling and you can see now that Toxic Flame and Zap Plate will always status. So Toxic Plate is 100 base power, Fling. Obviously it's it's a normal type move now, um, purely because uh, a lot of the mons that get Fling are normal type now. Uh, like mons like Slacking, Amber Palm, uh, Blissey as a meme, all those kinds of mons, uh, you know, Pessimian, all those mons are, you know, crap, I spoiled Pessimian, it's fine. Um, I, sh I shouldn't have said anything, it's, it's fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's really awesome. Um, Toxic Flames, that plate are awesome items, especially the Flame Plate, because that will burn. So that is a priority, also Fling is priority. So basically, with Fling and Flame Plate, you get a 100 base power normal type move that's plus four, that's priority, and it can't miss. With hustle, so that's possible boosted as well, and that'll always burn if you're running flame plate. Always, of course, you can also get the put toxic poison or the uh, paralysis if you want that as well. Um, King's Rock is 90 base power and will always flinch, so that is like a anytime use fake out almost. Like you can click that whenever you want, and it's like a double, almost double the power that fake out is now, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, that's really awesome. Plus four priority, that speeds all the regular priority moves, um, ties with like first impression and stuff. So that's awesome. Great move right there. Um, also iron ball um so again iron ball other uh, fling being priority is awesome because iron ball just um has your speed stat but um fling will not will make that not be relevant so essentially with fling you just get a free 150 base power move um that can't miss and that is priority so it's almost like a priority z move in that sense um and then of course you also will be losing your item so you can run like acrobatics after if you would desire um so that's really cool i honestly have been considering making acrobatics a hustle move but I think I'll leave it. Um, what else is there with Hustle? Um, I think that's honestly mostly it. Um, I did not give them Smart Strike because I don't really see it. What else? Let me go to the ability guide and just check it. Um, oh, Shadow Punch is great. Shadow Punch is great coverage. It's 80 base power uh, with Hustle. Um, that is That will not miss with Hustle. 80 base power on its own, obviously, and that's great coverage for uh, fighting types, of course. Um, beat up punishment, I already said. Focus punch is huge. Oh my gosh, how did I miss focus punch? Focus punch is great. So focus punch um, is 180 base power now, and it'll give you a plus one accuracy boost as well. So not only can it not miss, so that first, so basically hostile focus punch is, is boosted by 50%, and it can't miss. Um, and then after you, you finish that focus punch, you'll be... Um, Plus one accuracy, so you can use other moves. So, for example, you can use you can use substitute focus punch, and you can use drain punch or power up punch or whatever it is, and you won't be missing those anymore. So, like drain after um, a plus one accuracy boost, you're not missing drain punch, for example. So you can use sub focus punch, then you can drain punch to heal back up. It's really cool, really awesome. You can also use um, sub focus punch with like SD. Um, 
sub SD is great, sub bulk up is great. Um, so that's all awesome stuff right there. Very, very powerful. Um, really prime up is an absolute beast now with these moves and stuff. Um, Menke is a little bit stronger um, and much faster and has Defiant instead of Headstrong because Headstrong is a new ability uh, that prevents recoil. So that's great, but there's no recoil moves early game, so there's no point in giving it Headstrong. So I let, I let it keep Defiant because that's also a good ability. So early game, you're going to be swapping between your abilities. So say you want that Hustle boosted Mach Punch. Or, you know, Obviously all your moves are Hustle boosted, but say you want that Hustle Mach Punch and you don't want to worry about that miss chance, then you run Hustle Mach Punch. Say you want Defiant because you know that the opponent has Tearful Look or something. Okay, run defiant you know you can easily just swap these abilities with infinite use uh, ability capsules you can easily change around your uh, abilities um, and take advantage of both abilities um and you will above at level 28 like usual um i think that's a pretty fair level honestly prime is extremely powerful for level 28 to be honest with hustle um and of course, if you don't like the accuracy uh, miss chance and you don't want to run, and even with wide lens, yes, you do still have an 8% chance to miss with normal moves. Um, but then you can just run a full move set of hustle moves, and that's not a bad move set. Like, for example, mock punch, sucker punch, plus all of those other moves I listed. Like, it's really awesome uh, move set right there. And none of those will miss with hustle. So you can run an entire four move slots of all moves that will not miss. And you're not really like putting yourself at a loss for that um, if you do want to do that. Um, so yeah, that's all really amazing stuff right there. And then Headstrong is great with recoil moves. So Headstrong works with stuff like... Um, so basically, with, with your recoil options are... Headstrong is not that amazing um, because all it does is prevent recoil and you already have Shell Bell that heals by 20% anyways. Um, but it's basically like a built-in Shell Bell and then some because um, Shell Bell heals 20%. But then some recoil moves actually deal 25% recoil. The most recoil moves are 25% um, recoil damage. Um, but play rough, wild charge, rock climb, and takedown, which are all TMs here, are 110 base power moves, and those are all 20% recoil. So um, you can run hustle headstrong. Sorry, hustle sets with like shell bell if you really wanted to, and it has the same effect as headstrong, um, and it's stronger. Obviously, though, you still have the chance to miss. So you know you gotta hedge your bets and of course that takes up your item slot and your item slot is very important so i'm not trying to undersell headstrong or anything um but i just feel like sometimes a lot of people just see like oh my god no recoil it's amazing but in reality like it's fine like recoil is fine you just just, just watch your hp you know or heal up or switch out or something um or run shell bell if you want with buff shell bell is awesome um but yeah headstrong is still an amazing ability don't get me wrong a great ability because you can run an item um with headstrong and of course um your moves like uh, submission and uh, Brutal Swing and Flare Blitz will not take any recoil. So Brutal Swing and Flare Blitz are 125 base power, 25% recoil, and great coverage moves. Um, Flare Blitz, I think, fits very well given their Anger-ness and they already learned moves like Overheat by DM, I believe. So I figured Flare Blitz fits really nicely. Um, Brutal Swing is just great dark coverage for recoil sets. Uh, Play Rough, Wild Charge, Rock Climb are great coverage. Takedown is earlier than Submission, but it's weaker. Submission is essentially close combat and takedown in one move. So Submission drops your defenses by two and gives 25% recoil, but it's 150 base power. So that's incredible with Headstrong. It's like a, it's basically with Headstrong, Submission becomes 150 base power close combat, essentially. So that's great. And of course, um, you aren't always going to need the sheer power of Hustle because you already have a good 125 base attack. So a very good, very good base 125 base attack. So you're not always going to need the hustle boost. Um, and in those cases, you can just run headstrong. Even if you're not running recoil moves, it's just nice to not have to worry about that mischance. Say you need another item for the specific boss fight. You know, you don't need to run recoil moves for, hustle, for headstrong to be a good ability, purely because it's not hustle. Um, and that sounds like I'm saying hustle's bad. It's not. It's just that, you know, you, it's, it's conditional. Some fights, you're not going to need that giant boost. Other fights, you're definitely going to want it. Um, it really depends. And of course, a lot of the fights, the boost is risk-free because you have stuff like mod punch, sucker punch, and all these other ways to boost your accuracy and, and stuff now. So that's really awesome. Um, other great coverage moves you always had access to. You know, you got the punches, you got Seed Bomb, you got Acrobatics, all kinds of great coverage right there. Um, I'm not going to waste time listening at all. You have tons of coverage to hit everything you would ever need to hit. Um, Meditate is nice. It's like a mix between Bulk Up and Calm Mind, so it gives you plus one attack, plus one spit F if you want to run that. Um, Power Trip plus Raging Fury is a great combo with Hustle, especially because Power Trip will get stronger the more boosts you have. So you can run like Bulk Up, Power Trip sets, or Bulk Up, Raging Fury, Power Trip, whatever you feel like running. Um, what else is there? Ooh, that's a yawn. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Um, I actually did consider uh, fighting ground for a, some time. However, I opted to keep Marowak as the only fighting ground type. I think it fits better to just have Marowak be that typing only. Um, and if you are curious about Marowak, you can always go watch that video. Um, that's really cool. Um, let me, uh, 
Stretch real quick. <clears throat> okay. Um. Yeah. Um. You also have other good utility like battle cry, leer. Um, those are good uh, utility moves. Parting shot is great. Um, battle cry gives minus two to both their offenses. Leer is minus two defense earlier on in the hack, obviously. Um, Encore is a nice early game. Excuse me. Um, quick guard is good um, because you can actually PP stall um, people. Like with quick guard is pretty awesome um, because it prevents priority and it has a bunch of PP now. And you actually can spam that without having to worry about it stopping. So you can run like quick guard, say for example, the opponent has extreme speed as their normal stab. You can click quick guard five times and now they're out of extreme speeds. Say they're running, I don't know, mock punch. And I think mock punch is what, 15 PP now? I'm pretty sure, maybe 20 at most. Um, you know, that you can click that 20 times in a row and PP is all that. So that's awesome. Um, I believe I get quick guard like 40 PP, if I had to guess. Maybe 20, I forget. Um, too lazy to check it right now. Um... Oh, sorry, I had to yawn. Um, knockout punch is a really good move because um, also you have double edge by the way just for neutral headstrong moves if you want that as like a strong neutral normal hit which is cool um, what else is there um, hammer arm gives minus one speed but it's 120 base power uh, knockout punch is actually stronger but it's less accurate so knockout punch is 80% accurate but it's 130 base power and it makes the opponent drowsy when you land it so you can run a knockout punch set with like accuracy boosting stuff such as um, focus punch and whatnot which is awesome um, or home claws um, also if you think home claws is weird I think it's weird too however um, home claws is great for hustle by the way but they actually learned home claws uh, believe it or not in gen um, 5 when that, when that was a TM as you can see here, they wait, hold on, wrong thing. They did learn home claws, so I was like, okay, well, I mean, shit, if the game, game pre thinks they can have it, then I could definitely give it to them. Um, I don't really see claws there at all. I know that they're a monkey and stuff, but like a pig monkey, but I don't know if that would consider those claws, but hey, man, they got it, so that's awesome for hustle. Um, yeah, I really think that's about it. I mean, there's a couple other little niche things I can cover uh, move wise, but I'm not going to waste the time. They're just very, very strong. I'm serious, guys. Like, it's really powerful. Like, let me just put it into context before I end off the video. Because 125 is thick. Oh, oh my god, I'm talking too fast. <laughs> 125 base attack uh, with hustle is incredible. So, say you're running, you have a neutral attack nature. So, you're running Valley nature or something, and you have max uh, attack nature. Sorry, max attack investment at plus one attack, which is what hustle gives you essentially. You're at 523 attack, which is like what base. Oh my god, I knew it exactly until I had 212. Yeah, base 212. Probably because I've already um I already wrote a change guide for them months ago, and I, I, I'm pretty sure I did the math then. Yeah, roughly 211. Actually, it's 212. So yeah, um, 212 base attack. Super, super insane um, with Hustle. And of course, you have... So basically, like for example, Hustle, Mock Punch, and Sucker Punch is basically like you're just using that with 212 base attack and no other downside. And you can also stack that with a Choice Band if you want or Life Orb, but get even more damage, and it just becomes an absolute insane powerhouse of a Pokemon. Um, yeah, obviously pure fighting has very few resists now. I believe it has only one resistance now to dark, I believe, because I remove uh, bug is now neutral on on fighting. So I believe dark. Yeah, fighting types only have two resistances in rock and dark. They're some of they have some of the least resistances in the game, which is um, fitting in my opinion because they are a type that's all about offense. So um, yeah, you get that amazing fighting stat though, of course. Um, yeah. So I uh, appreciate you for um, listening to this. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like. That would help um, if you could like and comment and also subscribe because that helps with the algorithm, helps get to my videos recommended to more people. If you are new here, if you're not new here and you've probably already done all that already, uh, and you can, you know, feel free to check another video if you want. Um, but for those of you who are new, that would be very helpful. Um, you can also join my Discord server if you want. It's in the description. You can um, talk to me in there. You can download my other hack in there. If you want to wait, play that while you wait for uh, Sweltering Sun. Obviously, my other hack is not as good because it was it's a little bit older than Sweltering Sun is, but it's not a bad hack, and I probably will eventually go back and update it once Sweltering is done. Um, with all of the Sweltering changes, I'll probably just update that. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for listening. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. I hope that you guys uh, who like Primate up, Primate out there, are happy with these changes. I adore Primate. Um, I really think he's awesome. Um, adore is a little bit of a strong word, but I like him. He's a cool. He's a cool dude. Um, and and um, yeah, super strong. So. 
Thank you so much for listening. Oh, I didn't mention first impression with Hustle, by the way. That's another great. Did I mention that? If I did, then I'm repeating myself. But that's a great option with Hustle as well. Um, again, because that's priority, it doesn't miss. So all priority moves just straight up don't miss uh, with Hustle, which is awesome. So yeah, um, thank you so much for listening, and I'll be back for more. Oh god, it froze again. Really? Oh my god. <laughs>